Hi guys, well, here we are again. We've reached yet another Friday. We fought and crawled and we scratched our way through. And we've finished with the week and now we've got another Friday. Hooray. Uh, I thought since a few new people have joined the channel, probably a good time to explain the format. Uh, because of my Parkinson's issues, uh, I don't do a film every week, can't cope with that. So one week we have a film, next week we all join in and have uh, a discussion or a talk or a whatever. Well, at least I do. <laughs> and nobody said it was fair. Uh, and so that's, how, that's the format of what we do every week. So just so you're in the loop and then you can take your pick whether you skip, skip a week or not. Well, let's hope everybody's still coping with the COVID situation. Somebody pointed out it's a bit of a lottery at the moment as to whether you do or whether you don't. Uh, we have Michael in Poland uh, who reports to us on a regular basis and uh, Michael's saying things aren't too good over there. Stay safe Michael, please stay safe. Right, talking about regulars, Level Crossing Tim, as you might recall, started a hair running with sandwiches. Virtual sandwiches something you might take with you on one of our virtual walks that we, that we do. Uh, and we had a few exotic bits and pieces, I have to say that. Let me read you some. Now, I guarantee you will start to feel hungry halfway through this. <laughs> David Bennett comes up with wood pigeon, lettuce and tomato. You live well, David. Michaela was corned beef and tuna mayo, good standard. Graham Lee, ham, cheese and homegrown beetroot. Graham, lucky person. Willem was up with uh, chip butties. Yep, can't go wrong with chip butties. John Sparks was cheese, pickle and tuna. Or was that cheese, pickle or tuna? Not quite sure, John, but yeah, good standards there. Jerome, custard cream biscuit. Is that custard cream biscuit sandwiches? Hmm. Ellie came up with beetroot with salt and pepper. Yes. Right uh, Jamie Hall was corned beef, onion and brown sauce. Mm, I can taste it now. Uh, Richard. <laughs> Richard's anchoring after brown sugar sandwiches. But he has problems because mother-in-law doesn't agree. <laughs> Hang in there, Richard. Peter came up with cheese and marmite. Yes, I have to say that's one of my standards there, Peter. And Norris was... Cheese, onion, doorsteps. <laughs> yes. Uh, Hazel Brooks reminded me of uh, Jimmy Edwards, who, if you're of a certain age, you'll know who Jimmy Edwards was, once said that a sandwich wasn't worth eating unless you needed two hands to hold it. <laughs> yes. Now, Hazel will feature a little bit later on in one of these things, because she, uh, I first came across her having a rant on one of my previous videos. And it was about a subject which yeah, we've all got an opinion on. And uh, it does tend to get people fired up, I have to say. But, uh, we won't introduce it just yet. We'll put that aside uh, for a little while. Give Hazel a chance to get her blood pressure back down to normal. <laughs> and this next week, Tim, Level Crossing Tim, has now come up and suggested, why don't we have a competition on puddings? Virtual puddings. I'm not sure whether he means virtual puddings you might take with you on a walk or a pudding that you might order in a posh restaurant. Whatever. Uh, we don't mind on this channel. We'll take whatever comes. So if you want to try to join in on that one, if you follow Tim's post, you've probably worked out by now he's got something up his sleeve, isn't he? He thinks he's got this one. <laughs> Over to you guys. If he wins this, we'll never hear the last of it, I tell you. So, uh, we will have a go now. If you've never commented, uh, I think you need... Uh, they're off again. If anybody knows where there's a second-hand anti-aircraft uh, gun going cheap, we'll level the playing field a bit. <laughs> right, so, put in well. <laughs> That's the problem, isn't it? If you've never commented before, I think you need um, a Google account didn't cost anything so yeah but if you want to comment we'd love to hear from you if you don't want to comment that's fine as well this is uh, the laid-back channel so whatever join in if you want to right last week's film 
the disappearing railways. Yeah, I struggled with that one. Uh, job to find anything, and in some places there was nothing to find. It's all just been levelled. And we, we tend to think that at least some of the infrastructure, cuttings and maybe uh, the embankments, have got to last. But they don't, do they? They level embankments and then build on it, and they go fill in cuttings with council waste. Well, our waste, I suppose. Uh, and at some points, you just can't see there where there was a railway. So I suppose important to uh, get and copy them now, get them down on film now with what what's there. Right. So that was last week. Struggled with that one. Sorry about that. Next week, King's Sutton. And we've been following this railway from Cheltenham. It's the Cheltenham to Banbury direct railway. So we've been following it from Cheltenham. We got to Kingham a short while ago, which was a main line. Uh, Oxford to Eversham Way, I think that one was. Or was it Worcester? Could have been. That, well, same sort of place, isn't it? Same sort of line. So we got to there and I thought, well, that's covered it to a main line. We'll leave it there. But people were insisting that there was still stuff to see beyond there. So we've given that uh, a shot as well and there was some good stuff wasn't there and you take the Hook Norton Viaduct uh, yeah and uh, Chipping Norton yeah yeah that old tunnel in there you can see the issue can't you there they've blocked the road bridge up and it's blocked the uh, the water outlet out of the tunnel up so now you've got a virtual canal in there so that's caused problems in times of flood I would think possibly anyway uh, that's got that done. So then we've gone on now and we've reached King Sutton. Now I tend to think that must be the end of the line, guys, surely, because from here you've only got Banbury. So I don't know if I'm going to film Banbury. Uh, I suspect not, but it's just a main line between King Sutton and there. So we've got King Sutton next week. So we're going to have a look at that. Bring your virtual puddings. Uh, you won't need any walking boots or whatever. I'll pay the platform uh, ticket fee and we'll go and have a look at King Sutton. So, stay safe, I'll see you there.